All right, so we should be live. Just bear with me, guys, because uh, I have no idea what is going on right now with uh, the streaming software. I don't know if we are live or not, so I need to... Yeah, oh my God, it did work for what it seems. Oh my God, it did work. Right, so... Uh, it does appear that this is how it's gonna go, at least for today. Okay. Hello. So, uh, just uh, just give me one. Oh my God. It did work. Okay. So this is how how should how uh, it needs to go, uh, at least for the time being. That is because um, just giving you a quick update what is going on. Um, last night it appears that uh, my uh, the software on my camera it got updated and uh, whoever made the update does deserves to be fired because the focus doesn't work and the camera tries to refocus constantly and it's just it stretches and, and squeezes everything around non-stop and it just makes your eyes bleed so uh, I improvised and it does look like that it's actually it's working better <laughs> so I don't know why I'm paying for that thing uh, in any case guys this is going to be about a uh, Venus direct turning direct finally something is turning right uh, for what it seems and uh, a few things to announce as well because uh, I do have an idea a couple of days ago I shared it, it with uh, with my assistant and my assistant think that you know it's, it's it may not be a great idea but it is not the worst idea possible so I'm going to um, thank you Laura so I'm going to kind of like give it a go okay and it will be about a Q&A so pretty much a, a day before or to be specific uh, tomorrow there will be a post where you can ask any kind of questions that are not related to A3 readings. You know, you can ask me about a specific tarot card, you can for example ask me about the spread you did for yourself or for a friend of yours that you have been baffled by uh, and, and these kind of stuff. You know, and I'm going to go in Sunday and I'm just going to answer the questions accumulated and questions that are simultaneously um, addressed to me via uh, via the stream. So I do, I do, uh, how can I say, I, I do anticipate this to be a more fun stream than some kind of your predictions, a uh, energy channeling intense kind of, uh, kind of thing. Yeah, that's, uh, that's one of the announcements. Hello, Frank. So yeah, that's uh, that's one of the announcement. And um, uh, hello, Sarah. By the way, it's a bit difficult. However, in this uh, in this UA uh, to read your to read your comments. So I uh, I do apologize if I miss a comment or two. Um, so obviously in these Q and A's, I'm not going to give as much information as I'm giving into my uh, into my tarot classes because you know people that are attending to the tarot classes they need to have the edge because at the end of the day they have paid for it. Um, another thing, it is as usual for every new that it is on the stream. There will be three free readings conducted in this stream. These uh, free readings are going to happen in between the predictions for the star signs. So at every four star signs. Happy birthday, Maria. So at every four star signs, uh, there will be a break. And in this break, um, a poll is going to be conducted, meaning that people are going to ask their questions. And I'm going to make a poll. I'm going to choose one question from those questions and we'll perform a professional tarot reading. Under professional tarot reading, I mean a full spread tarot reading on, uh, on the question given. And pretty much uh, that's, uh, I think that wraps it up. Oh, um, now, if you don't know uh, yet, uh, the beginner's tarot classes are available, are currently are only available in recorded version. <clears throat> so uh, once you purchase the class, going to my website that it is listed here in the post and purchasing the class within 24 hours, you're going to gain a full access to the lectures, six lectures, 12 hours of contest, uh, of content, uh, excuse me, and on top of that, you get a one 
our personal coaching uh, with me whenever you want, uh, whenever you want to use it. Um, and lastly, if you do want a private reading, again from the website you can purchase such and uh, you, can, you can see the variety of services and their pricing as well on the very front page. And based on your budget and, you, and your needs, you can uh, purchase whichever service. And again, with, within 24 hours, I'm going to come back to you with the details how the reading is going to take place. So, uh, with that being said, this um, uh, uh, that's, how can I say, that, rec uh, that recitating, it's, uh, it annoys me, guys. I don't know uh, if it annoys you, but it, uh, it should be. I mean, it's, it's very annoying, but at the end of the day, that, that's the way you promote yourself. <clears throat> Hello, Rose. Uh, yeah, welcome to the uh, live stream, finally. Um, welcome from Australia. It should be quite early there, I believe. No, it's not quite early, actually, depending where, where you are, it should be around 9 to 10 p.m., isn't it? Right, so also the star signs are going to be pulled randomly, okay? So we're not starting from a specific one, we're not ending with a specific one. I'm going to conduct a random pull. And the first one that we have, that is going to be... Aquarius again. Oh my god. Yeah um, With the previous stream uh, We uh, we started with Aquarius now. We're gonna start with Aquarius as when well. this is my atrocious a uh, handwriting Okay, so we do have Aquarius uh, uh, Let me shuffle and let's have a look what is gonna go right for Aquarius Teresa. Right. So let's see how uh, how this software is going to reproduce the cards. So the first one for Aquarius is going to be the uh, Knight of Swords. Uh, then what we do have here it is the high priestess and at the end what we do have it is the two of uh, the two of swords okay uh, hello Krista so those uh, three cards and I'm afraid I have a little bit of a um, unwanted news for Aquarius I can't say that it is really a bad news it is just a unwanted news so the whole thing about Venus uh, that goes direct for Aquarius, Venus in direct is going to bring a lot of answers to Aquarius itself, like, you know, answers about their relationship, answers about their uh, career, their love, you know, their um, general life unfoldment moving forward. Now, the thing is, is that um, Aquarius themselves are going to be a bit resentful about those, uh, about those answers that they are going to acquire. Uh, through the circumstances that are forming around and they will wait uh, longer than longer than needed in order to make themselves uh, reassured that actually what they know to be true it's actually true I hope that that kind of makes sense so for example guys um, say that you through the circumstances you do have the answer that you gotta leave your job instead of leaving it straight away you may have the tendency to stay there okay and just get another circumstance and another circumstance usually people have it very uh, very frequent frequently what i mean is that you know they take hit after hit and they still don't learn the lesson that this is not their place so it does look like that this uh, cycle is gonna deliver truth to you in generally and you need to be with an open heart say an open soul to accept uh, accept the truth now once you do so it does look like that uh, <clears throat> you are to be placed into a specific uh, into a specific narrative of life what I mean is that there will be a specific direction that you're gonna follow either career wise or either relationship wise with within which direction uh, whatever actions you are to make and whatever decisions you are to conduct they are to be um, 
aligned with your emotions. So in other words, you're not gonna hate what you about you are about to do, or you're not going to how can I say uh, uh, despise uh, despise yourself, if you will, for the things that you have to decide in favor of. Right. So that was about Aquarius. Now next one, we have Capricorn. Guys, so we're going backwards. Okay, let me shuffle and uh, we're going to see what Capricorn has to endure. Right, so for Capricorn, the first one is going to be the Nine of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have the Moon card, so we do have a very, very good news for Capricorn just by doing these two cards. And the other one here is going to be the King of Wands, so we do have those uh, three cards. I just need a second here, guys, because it's a quite an awkward collision, if you will, in between the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Wands. And on top of that, the King of Wands is a enemy to the Moon card in general. And that creates a little bit of a um, contradictory in the reading itself. But all in all, what, does, uh, what those cards are pointing, it is that you will be able to, at the end of the day, or kind of like, uh, how should I say, finally here, accomplish a, uh, or reach a big accomplishment that were a, um, a, like a plan or like a goal for a long time ago, okay? You may not have them at the top of your head right now, you may have them back in a couple of years ago, you know, but due to the circumstances, you have abandoned those goals. And now, in this Virgo, in this Virgo going, that, um, Virgo that it is going, um, Virgo, oh my God, Venus, that it is going direct, okay? Uh, and now those plans are going to be completely accomplishable uh, through the circumstances that are, uh, that are aligning around you. Okay, so say ju just to give you an example here, say a couple of years ago you planned to establish business, but something happened, crisis in the family, crisis in the uh, <clears throat> uh, in the financial world, you know, in the economic and so on and so forth, or it is just you know the market was so saturated with people that are performing that idea in general. Uh, you couldn't do it, okay, to a couple of years ago, but now as Venus is turning direct, you definitely will be able to establish that thing. And moreover, here with the Nine of Pentacles in the Moon card, uh, you are supposed to do it one way or another, in the past, in the present, or if you are unable to do it right now, you are still going to do it in the future. So suffice to say here with those cards, Capricorn, that is that uh, you are destined for something great, okay, for something very big, and that, that is going to be like a leap into, the, into your development. Now the thing, that is that, and you may ask, you know, how do you know that it is something I thought two couple of years ago or maybe three years ago. Uh, like I told you, that is in between the, co uh, the collision of the uh, King of Wands and the Moon card as they are a enemies. It means that, or the collision in between these two cards, it means that your current ambition, your current agenda that you are bringing from the previous transit into this Venus Direct. It is not the one that you are to establish. You may establish it, okay? But it's not going to be the big thing that you are going to establish. I mean, the, the other thing that you had back in the days and you could not establish is going to pretty much eclipse everything around and nothing else is going to matter. So you do prepare yourself to drop a big bombs in your life for good, I mean, or for a better unfoldment. And probably at the end of this uh, cycle, you're gonna end up in a pretty, pretty good spot in term of career, the very, very least. Now, if we're talking about relationship with those cards, I could say that a big person is coming around, especially if you're single, that is the signification in between the nine of pentacles and the moon card, meaning that the, uh, the, the big fish, you know, you are about to catch the big fish there in the ocean. 
that everybody is hoping to uh, get a grapple on. Uh, however, as we do have the King of Wands here, uh, that big fish at the first glance may not correlate exactly with your criteria and standards, you know, but with time you are gonna get the hang of it. Right, so that was about Vir uh, that was about Capricorn. Now moving next, uh, we do have Scorpio. Okay, so we do have a Scorpio. Hello, Katie. Glad to have you on board for uh, for the live stream. Right, so, um, and you are going to be amazed, guys. I mean, the first card about Scorpio is the Scorpio itself. That will be the death card, right? So, moving next, we do have the Devil. And then we do have the Page of Pentacles. And, oh my God. So, um, I can never understand astrology, you know, and I will tell you why. Oh, uh, uh, probably an astrologist can say the same thing about tarot readers as well. But you know, uh, when Pisces Moonbeam talks to me, especially about Venus, it tells me how Venus is all about, you know, emotions and all these kind of, but it is also a about work. Uh, and wait a minute, how, then how you do distinguish is which, you know. Same thing is about the, the tarot cards also. I mean, they do have completely different representation and narratives depending on how they fall into the spread where what is the question and so on and so forth and here unfortunately we can't distinct what that is going to be all about but what i can tell you scorpio what i can tell to myself and thank god that will be a life changer guys i mean that will be the, the life and game changer here now if it manifests in relationship okay and we are in ongoing relationship, um, then uh, we are going to have everything we have ever wanted from that relationship itself. Okay, we, If we want love, love is what is going to come about from the relationship. If we want marriage, marriage is what is going to come about from that relationship. It's just we are going to have the next cycle of our development the way we want it. A very, very powerful energies or those I mean this is something you don't screw screw with okay or screw about with I, this is this ain't a walk in the park here what we do have with those three cards these are a serious uh, how can I say um, energies of creation if you will things that you can create but also you can destroy with so it's it's very important to uh, mind that now if that thing however uh, manifest in term of looking for either a job or for either a, a love we are gonna find it uh, if Pisces Moonbeam is watching can you tell me uh, how long is that thing I mean how long is this cycle now I am legitimately interested in this thing um, so we are waiting to see <coughs> how long is that cycle but if Especially if that is about looking for a relationship, you can expect that this relationship is going to manifest in between you and friend of yours. Don't ask me how I know it, okay? If it's just written in the cards, there is a specific formula for it. And if I have to say that person um, have, uh, had, uh, have had been into you for a year quite of a time, or it's just they either didn't have the guts or they didn't have the right circumstances in order to approach you. And the more you think about it, once you understand who that one is, the more you are going to realize that actually things can work out. And they can work out for a really, really long ride. You're looking for job. That's all right. Okay, because you're going to have the job you want with a long term prospect. You are in a current career, Scorpio. That's great because promotion, raise, everything, it is in your feet. I mean, the world is going to be brought down into our feet. And it is entirely up to us to make the most out of it. To create and not to destroy, all right? So it's very, very important to do that. 
Hello, Marion. Nice to have you on board. Right, so that was about Scorpio, oh my god. That was a good one. Yeah, Megan, I'm here. Scorpio was really taking the cake in terms of a bad readings in the last few months. Oh my God, I thought that this uh, this period is never gonna get over. It's never going to be over with, you know. We do have a message. Let's see how long that thing is. Um, so Venus is direct but it still is shadow and will take a few weeks to go over the degrees it's, uh, it was a retrograde okay then it will move into late degrees of Gemini and into Cancer in August 7th so we do have a time up until August 7 guys that is almost a, a month and a half Yeah, and the and Venus became a morning instead of a evening star, and that be, that kind of explains the things. You know, I mean that things are gonna get better, and the energies are far lighter than than, than what they were beforehand. Right. So thank you, Pisces Moonbeam. Thank you. Okay. I don't know what I would have done without you. Right. So uh, next one. Uh, let's have a look. Who is next one? So next one is going to be Virgo. Alright, so for Virgo, we do have the page of uh, cups. Moving next, that is going to be the uh, Knight of Swords. And after that, what we do have, that is to be the Strength card here. Okay, so those, uh, those three cards. I mean, for Virgo, it's pretty simple, actually. Now, um, the more they are spending time in, in Venus uh, direct cycle before Venus go into a uh, Gemini, uh, Virgo are going to realize, you know, what kind of a big change is looming for them. And the more they realizing the change, the more impatient they are going to become. Now, I hate the word. I already said that. Patience sucks. But uh, at the end of the day, the more impatient you are, uh, the more uh, the more prone you are going to be to make some really stupid actions and irrational decisions, if you will. I'm explaining that into my classes, but it comes from the strength card and your ability to tame the beast within. Okay, so you need to be capable to tame uh, the beast within, so you can put the appropriate actions according to the change that is looming on the horizon. So what is important here to do? Now, instead of bursting with enthusiasm and, you know, doing uh, very premature actions and decisions, you got to take your time and instead of being stuck with the uh, minor details of the situation and of the change that is coming on the horizon, very likely it is that you are going to be foretold about it. It could be a proposition, you know, it could be an announcement and etc, etc. Uh, you know, it could be, for example, that your girlfriend is announcing you that she's pregnant and there you go, you, could, you do have a change looming on the horizon. You don't know what to do, right? I mean, you're going to become a father for the first time. Wow, what an excitement. In any case, uh, instead of, uh, like I said, you know, doing stupid things, irrational and pretty premature actions and decisions, you got to hold down your, whole, your, uh, your horses and... Um, pretty much uh, attends to the overview rather than to be stuck with the minor details. That itself is going to make you or go to do some uh, reassessments of yourself that is very common with the Page of Cups and to relate even more emotionally to the situation itself. And when you do so, 
you will be able to reposition yourself in a such a way that you're going to be able to make the most out of the change that it is looming on the horizon. Now, one thing here I want to warn you, and that comes in between the Knights of uh, Swords and with correlation with the other two cards, it is that not everything that you will identify to be a logical uh, maneuver or a decision or an action will be, so, will be a things that you would like to to do, to say, and to decide in favor of, okay? So some of those things may not be uh, necessarily, you know, an approach that you do agree with, but nonetheless, that is not gonna make it a, a wrong approach, and you have to agree, you know, with the common sense, or rather like with the rational sense, rather than with the emotional and passionate one, okay? So that that is, a, um, that is your reading uh, here, Virgo. And uh, now the first break is going to take place and uh, you can ask your questions guys now. So please, uh, if you do have a, questions, input it, uh, a question, input it uh, here into the comments of the post. Let me put my computer on charger. Alright, so while the questions are accumulating, I'm going to annoy you for a little bit. Uh, just to tell you, that if you do want a, a personal reading, uh, you can check out the description here all the po or the post rather and there you're going to find my website <clears throat> in which uh, at the very front page you can um, see pretty much or review all of my services and their pricing and based on your budget and needs you can purchase whichever whichever service you want now once you place your purchase <clears throat> within 24 hours i'm going to come back to you via email giving you a detailed explanation of uh, how the reading is going to take place and whatever um, whatever information about you i do need and uh, as well, um, the uh, beginner style classes are now only in recorded version, which means that once you purchase the class, uh, you get full access. Within 24 hours, you get a full access of the, uh, of the archive of the lectures or over the, uh, the 12 hours of content they are recorded. And on top of it, you also get a, a personal one hour coaching uh, with me whenever you feel that you do need it. Um, so, pretty much in those classes you can expect to hear a detailed explanation for all the major arcana and how to interpret them in various narratives like relationship, like career, like looking for those stuff as well, in a, a positive interpretation, in a negative interpretation as well, what it means at the end of a cycle, what it means at the beginning of a cycle as well. And ultimately at the end, uh, you will be set to do your own personal readings uh, with, uh, with just the major arcana. And if you think that that is not enough, uh, I need to tell you that at the beginning, people were reading only with the major arcana and they were just as accurate as you can be with uh, the minor arcana too. I mean, the, um, the minor arcana only adds and an additional level, a layer and level to the reading itself, but the accuracy stays uh, stays the same. <clears throat> so yeah, if you do like the way I read tarot cards, uh, you can pretty much purchase the class and you're gonna be set to start the journey I undertook a 20 years ago. Right, so let's have a look.
Yeah, I'm I'm going back in uh I'm looking So we do have a uh kind of casual one. What I mean under casual, I a really light kind of a question. <clears throat> I don't want to um, undermine the importance of the question for the person that have asked the question and the person who asked the question is Kim Kiching so I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name it is just that that's the way how I'm pronouncing it so Kim is asking when in a new love coming to me so Kim wants to know when she's gonna have a opportunity to fall in love and to make a relationship so let's have a look Right, so the first one is going to be the Empress. Moving next, we do have the uh, Six of Cups, followed by the Wheel of Fortune, and the last one here, that is going to be the Chariot. So it's going to be a very rapidly developing thing, okay? I mean, you're gonna, uh, by the way, that's a brand new person, it's not someone you already know. And when you get to know that person, I mean, things are gonna, uh, when you get introduced to the person, things are literally going to develop for a week or two, okay? So it's going to be that rapid, okay? So uh, let's have a look when though, because that was the question. And I'm gonna stick to the questions today, guys, so I can read for uh, a bit more people, not just for one, but probably two at, uh, at a break, okay? Uh, just, I don't wanna say feeling generous, but I do enjoy uh, conducting a personal readings, that, that is the thing that makes me keep on going. Now, if you do think that making videos is something that I do enjoy, you are in a great mistake, okay? Or you, it's just, doing videos is something that's, oh my God, it's, it's, the, it's the dark night of my soul, right? It's just. Just give me a second, I think I got it wrong. So I do believe I missed the first tracking card somewhere. I'm just not very familiar with that deck yet. So it should be around the start of the new year. I just want to tell you more specific timing than that yeah um, so by the middle of December okay so you're gonna get to know that person by the mid of December, right? <clears throat> so that is the answer to your question. Right, so let's choose one more.
No, um, no, see what I'm going to, uh, I'm going to choose one more. Okay, so the uh, the question is going to be Tameka Adams, and Tameka um, is asking, should I continue my part to start my event planning business? So pretty much what the reading is going to show here, Tameka, is what the business is going to be like, and then you can decide is the part worth it or not. Okay. One second, guys. So we do have the Aeon moving next, that is going to be the Nine of Pentacles, followed by the Two of Cups, and the last one here is going to be the Queen of Wands. <clears throat> so that business, uh, first of all, to make a, that business for you is going to be a stepping stone, okay? Uh, that will transform probably into something else moving forward into the future. So if you ask me, if you do ask me, I, if I were at your shoes, I would have uh, I would have started the business. Okay. Uh, although you sh you may not expect to be very very lucrative at the start, so if you do have the luxury to start the business sidewise uh, uh, alongside with a uh, with a, a full time job or a partial time job. Uh, that will be ideal because uh, at the start, at least, the business is going to struggle, you know, uh, turning it around or rather like uh, making a living. And uh, things are going to improve uh, around uh, for the business itself or rather like you are going to make a uh, correct business maneuvers and business decisions as well that is going to turn around the situation with the business itself around uh, mid of May next year. So you do have a one year where the business that you are planning to start is going to um, is going to struggle, okay? Uh, and then um, at the mid May next year, you do make uh, the right maneuvers, the right actions, the right decisions, and voila, you have your business back on its feet. But yeah, it will be the smart decision here, at least in my book, is going to be uh, you starting the business while alongside with it, you do work something uh, something else. Right, so that concludes the pool, the first pool that is. And um, now a couple of minutes of break, guys, and uh, we are going to move to the next four star signs. Uh, yeah, Katie, it is a, uh, I, I, I try to record it for four times. This is what I am saying, guys, that if you think that videos are easy to make, 
and that for example you do see a two hours of 12 videos cumulatively content and you say what's how are you you know it just sits two hours at uh, two hours a week recording those videos you have no idea okay you just have no idea Ah, uh, you want to know about that dream catcher? Well, that dream catcher was gifted to me by my cousin. Uh, he sent it to me from America. Actually, here you can't find those. What he told me is that he bought it from indigenous people. So I do believe that it is a real dream catcher. Under real, I mean, it's made through rights and all these kind of stuff. Uh, because pretty much, um, I never dreamt uh, nightmares since I since I got it and I have it. Uh, since I am a child, or rather like since I was say, probably 10 years old or 12 years old, um, I haven't dreamt a, a nightmare, okay? That thing was always in my room. And it's just I have a peaceful sleeping since ever since that time. My hair looks good, actually my hair looks dreadful. I, um, I'm trying to kind of like uh, mobilize myself to go into a hairstylist to a little bit to, to, to put shape <laughs> in the hair itself. It looks dreadful guys. Uh, I am not putting nearly enough effort to get my hair um, in a good shape, okay, because it's just I'm using just the shampoo. That's that Oh, and a balsam or I don't know how you say it in English that makes the hair moist because my hair is very very arid and once you shampoo it after that um, I, It looks like grain. Okay, it looks like grain grass <laughs> It's ridiculous I won't gonna, I'm gonna cut it, I'm just going to shorten it with a finger or two, you know, to, to, to just remove those, uh, uh, rin not wrinkles, but how do you say, curlings, okay, to those, those curly tips, to remove those curly tips, because it's, uh, it's very difficult to, to kind of, I, I try to put them behind my neck and they still, you know, reappear, it is because it's just what my hair is, it grows in every direction. Yeah, a moisturizer, exactly. This is what I'm using, a moisturizer. Because uh, it's it's a very arid, I, I do have a very arid hair. You think that curly tips are sexy? <laughs> oh my God, all right. So probably I'm gonna have a vote then. Half of you guys say cut it, half of you say don't cut it, and at the end of the day, you are the only one seeing me in any case. I mean, I'm not uh, socializing at all, so I, oh, I should not do it the way you like it. Uh, you hate the curlies, me too, you know, I, I hate the curlies too. So, um, you, you want to vote? <laughs> okay, <laughs> don't get it. See, uh, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Okay, so probably I'm going to make a poll, although it doesn't seem really uh, serious. Well, be me, the, the hair is going to stay long, okay? I'm just going to cut off those curlies at the tips. Uh, but the funny fact is that only my brother makes me the way I want Okay, and my brother is a uh, hairstylist in London 
Um, and uh, he is a, uh, an amazing professional. I mean, I, I'm not bragging because he's my brother, but because he really knows what he's doing. And I am so looking forward for September or October when he's gonna come back here in Bulgaria for a couple of weeks and he can make me the way I want, okay? Because nobody can, take, can make me the way I want than him. I went to so many hairdressers and I said I want to look like that and I even show picture, okay? I want my hair to be like that. And when I stand up from the chair, nothing in common, you know, it's, it's like I told them I want to look like the tree outside, you know. I don't know what these people were doing, but uh, oh no, one more, uh, another hairdresser actually uh, made me the way I want to look. And probably I'm going to use her services once again until my brother came about. But anybody else, it's, I just don't want to talk about it. You cut your own hair? Well, that's the next level, Rose. <laughs> that's that's the next level. By the way, when I was uh, when I was little, uh, my mother used to cut my hair, and it was atrocious. I mean, it was it was so bad, you know. Thank God, by that time, I did not care about my look. Not not I do care right now that much, but still. Right. So, uh, let, let's have a look about the next one. What do we have? We do have Aries. Well, Mia, I, I guess we all have the same problem, you know. No, my brother works with catalogs, you know, you go there, you show from a catalog the, uh, the hair you want to have and he just does it, okay? He just knows how to do it. But I think that he finished the Sassoon uh, classes, okay? Uh, first or second degree, I don't really know. Uh, and that's why, I mean, a professional is professional. Right, so, um, Aries, we do have the Queen of Wands, uh, followed by uh, the Ace of Wands. And the last one that we do have here is the uh, Knight of Pentacles. So, um, uh, Aries, uh, things are going to speed up for you guys uh, to a, a larger extent. And what I mean that they're going to speed up it is that things are going to go according to plan. Uh, with your ongoing endeavors, you know, that you are entering with uh, in the uh, Venus uh, Direct. However, new opportunities are going to arise as well. Uh, things that you are going to just sense, you know, like your acute business sense is going to see opportunity here, or your hunch is going to foresee opportunity in your relationship life as well, and so on and so forth. Now, the thing it is that in order to grapple upon those opportunities, you will have to go... A little bit uh, out of your way okay so you won't be able to simultaneously uh, develop or rather like uh, unfold or keep on unfolding your original plan and sustain those opportunities so you will have to kind of like uh, choose where your priorities lies now the good thing in this uh, reading is there is no right or wrong decision that you that you can make either of those options are going to bring you a very gaining for enterprises moving forward uh, moving forward into the future now with the queen uh, <clears throat> with the queen of wands as well um, uh, that, that is a bit of a secret okay but you're going to have supremacy you're going to have supremacy uh, into your uh, social circle meaning that you are going to attract exterior people more than for example your uh, girlfriend or your boyfriend is going to attract and under girlfriend and boyfriend I mean just friends you know so whatever social circle you do have say a new person comes into that social circle they are going to be more attracted to you than attracted to anybody else for one or another reason and that's why you are going to have supremacy and uh, you know you can make advantage of it or you can take advantage of it and the same thing goes about your career I mean you're gonna have supremacy there I mean whatever you are to propose as a uh, 
uh, as a strategy, as a plan, and etc., etc., it will be more appealing to your boss and to your supervisor than the plan and the suggestion of your coworker. And again, you can uh, make a a very good, uh, very good use of that particular state. But the best thing that you're going to be good at is to making others to do your work for you. Okay, uh, that sounds a little bit ma ma manipulative, but at the end of the day, you know, one one should get whatever one can take, right? So that's uh, that's about you, Aries, for the uh, upcoming month and a half. So next one, we have Leo. <clears throat> Hello Kim, how are you doing? Right, so for Leo we do have the King of uh, Wands moving next, next, that is going to be the Ace of Pentacles, followed by the Nine of Cups, okay? So those three cards. And Leo are going to have enough, if you will, from um, slow progression. Uh, that is the only way how I can dis uh, display it or, or describe it. Probably I should try to describe it with a um, with an example, you know. Say that you are working a job, right, and that job has really slow progression, if any progression at all. So you're going to have enough of it. And instead, you're going to try to develop something different. Now here, uh, the cards are more oriented toward a personal stuff, like uh, contemplating over a personal business, contemplating over your side of the relationship, and so on and so forth. For reason being is that into the current states uh, that you are in, in terms of career or relationship, as the Venus goes direct, you may not see much sense of how things are to unfold in the way that they are going to suit that they are going to suit you best, and for that reason, you would uh, strive to kind of like grapple the uh, the leashes uh, of the steed and uh, direct it by yourself. Meaning that instead of uh, allowing or kind of like hoping that things are going to develop in your way on their own accord, you are going to try to develop them in your way by yourself instead of hoping that the universe is going to do it and you will be successful in it now the thing it is that is going to be stressful the thing it is that is going to be uh, hectic probably is the word that i should use and in some ex extreme cases guys you would have to do things that you may not be proud of moving forward into the future but if your ambition is everything you got and you are ready to, to, to accomplish it, whatever the cost, you will be able to accomplish it. So that's your, uh, that's your reading, Leo. Now next one. We have cancer. Mila, you are excused. No, just kidding. <laughs> welcome, welcome on board. Hopefully, uh, you haven't missed your uh, your star sign. Right. So um, we have Cancer. Now the first one is going to be the Death card. Moving next, we do have the Four of Wands. Wow, what do you know? Uh, and then we do have the Six of Pentacles here. Huh. So, um, well, 
Is that gonna be for good or worse here, uh, Cancer? I think you thought it's over. Actually, it's not really close to be over. Now, obviously, if that relates to ex relationship that you want to get in back back in, you know that's a good that, that's a good news. But just as strong, that thing could relate to previous problem. Okay. And the thing is, is that you think it's over right now. You do think it's over. But uh, something very important have been overlooked in there that needs to be finalized before the thing gets uh, done for good, okay? And that is, uh, that is the main topic that you are going to uh, undergo through this, uh, through this cycle of a month and a half. I'd say it's pretty much uh, you fixing the past, okay? Or reliving the past the way that the past was supposed to be lived through, rather than prematurely ending it. Pretty much what the cards here are pointing it is that, like I said, something prematurely ended that have not been consumed as it was supposed to be consumed, okay? And now, just the current is going to bring it back to you, okay? Because at the end of that, and I love that, that, that comes from the uh, Six of Pentacles in a correlation with the death card and pretty much that collision says you can't fight faith, faith can you? I mean, it's just, it's just it's gonna happen no matter what you do, you can't hide anyway, okay? So it will be best instead of struggling against it to embrace it, whatever it is, because at the end it's gonna end and um, it's gonna end in a positive way, meaning that you will be able to open a new chapter in your life, and that new chapter doesn't necessarily has to be a new beginning, okay? Because new chapter, it could be a new chapter in the ongoing relationship that has been resuscitated, or a job that have been recovered, and so on and so forth, or a family that have been rekindled, and so on and so forth. So uh, you're gonna have so-called a correctional exam, you know, throughout these uh, this month and a half, and I'm begging you, uh, or I appeal to you, if you will, Cancer, uh, if it was your fault back in the days, don't mess this thing around this time around, okay? It's just it uh, it will be such a shame and waste on top of it. Okay, so that was about Cancer. Now moving next. And the last star sign for the second cluster, we do have Gemini. Uh, Katie, now that's the thing with the video readings, they do take so much time to be performed. Okay, and uh, since COVID, uh, my overload is rather big. Okay, and just I don't have the time. Uh, probably I'm gonna post weeklies for the next week, or maybe monthlies for the next month. I have to talk with my assistant. Well, she's watching right now. Probably she's gonna text me in a couple of minutes, saying monthlies, monthlies. You gotta do monthlies. You know, they 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 are to be watched more than the weeklies. So probably, probably, yeah, I'm going to make monthlies. Right, so, uh, Gemini. Right, so the first one is going to be the Four of Cups for Gemini. Moving next, we do have the Ace, uh, the Page of Pentacles. And then we do have the uh, Seven of Cups. Well, that's almost like uh, with Cancer. But here, um, that will be a fight to find a reason to keep on going with something. That could be in regards to your career path. That could be in regards to your relationship as well. But it is just, see, I told you. Let me, let me check. Yeah, it's just, she says, monthlies, even if they have to be late. So, I told you so. So, monthlies, 
hard to be. Uh, do you do you ask me Adele? Um, I can't recommend any other deck because any other deck are just the fantasies of a particular person. You know, um, to I just that, that that's the creed. You know, that's the creed to read with any other deck, and it's like to treat the disease with any other pill, or to try to do math with Roman numerals. You know, it's or with any other numerals. It just it doesn't work. Okay, that's because that's the creed. You go by the creed. Anything else is just the fantasies of somebody else. That it is. The, the, these are not tarot cards, or that's at least my opinion. Because tarot card has components. It has a scene. It has symbols. Okay, and they these scene that that scene with the symbols. It does relate in a specific way. To questions and when someone changes that now that's not tarot anymore you know it's something else it may be accurate it may not be okay I, I don't want to say that these decks are not accurate but they are not tarot at least not in my eyes right so um, so the three decks that you go by with those are either either weight those are either a, uh, a taught tarot that is the other creed of tarot and then you do have tarot druida okay that, that is the druidic uh, the druidic version of tarot and it's something that i don't i don't do it's it's far beyond my comprehension the uh, the tarot druida okay so um yeah well uh you uh, gemini that is going to be a struggle to sustain or rather like to find reason why you should keep on going for example, why you should keep on going with your marriage, why you should keep on going with your career. That is because throughout the cycle, things are going to slow down extreme in to, uh, and abate in an extreme way. What I mean is that you are always not going to be able to foresee any improvement at all. You know, it is like you you even start to believe that, for example, you will never going to um, have any improvement in terms of career that nothing is going to happen anymore into your marriage, you know, for example, that uh, you will never going to feel excitement in there. It pretty much you are going to uh, start believing that whatever you are in, you have exhausted it, okay? It's, it's just you, you took everything from it, you gave everything you got, and now it is just a dead enterprise, which is not true, okay? I don't true at all. Because um, it just needs time, and right now, I how can I say a new narrative and that specific career or in that specific relationship is forming, and you need to give time to the narrative to actually uh, plant seeds in the career or in the relationship, and then bit by bit, slowly but steadily, things are gonna start taking off again. But just you need to have rather uh, how can i say again patience I, don't, I can't find another word for it uh, to endure throughout this uh, a month and a uh, month and a half so yeah it's like uh, you're gonna think that uh, you know you you already consumed the fruits of your labor and you have nothing to do there anymore it's just that thing cannot offer you anything and uh, that's why you may kind of have been prone to, to, to seek other opportunities. Which also going to work out for you. But according to those cards, uh, you can keep on developing with the things that you do have at disposal right now. Right, so that was about the second cluster of star signs and now the second pool is to happen. So guys, you can uh, start asking your questions. Well, every star sign can say the same thing, Wanda. I could say the same thing from, for Scorpio as well, although I'm not seeking for love though. So probably this is what uh, why I'm not having any luck with it.
yeah, exhaustion is another thing that can, uh, but it is very personal with exhaustion, and that comes, and, and exhaustion again comes from the lack of, uh, from the lack of results, you know, it's like you're trying and you have no results, so you kind of like come to a conclusion that, you know, you did everything you could, you consume everything you could, and now it's time to move on, isn't it? So, um, if you guys do uh, like the way I read tarot cards and uh, you want to learn to read the same way, uh, I'm offering tarot classes right now. The beginner's tarot classes are available only in recorded version, but uh, you are also going to get, with purchasing the recorded version, you are also going to get a one hour personal coaching with me. You can take the hour whenever you feel the necessity of. And uh, for your money, you get 12 hours of, uh, of content with a detailed explanation of the major arcana and how to interpret them in terms of uh, various narratives like career, relationship, looking for those stuff uh, for career or a relationship in a negative way and in a positive way as well, depending on what kind of a question is given. And at the end of these classes as well, at the last lecture, you also are going to have an, an examples how to approach a tarot reading using only major arcana. So you're pretty much covered to, even though it's just a beginner's tarot class, uh, you are set to do your own, your own personal reading and hopefully that will be also your own private readings as well. Another thing is that because I saw that somebody asked about uh, my information, you can find my information at the post. Here it is just, uh, you gotta click see more there and it's just a uh, couple of websites are gonna open up. Actually that is one uh, website with the redirection. One is for the tarot classes, the other is for the front page. So the front page you're gonna see all of my services and as well uh, their pricing. And based on your budget you can choose and your needs as well. You can choose whichever service you want. And once you place your purchase, I'm going to come back to you within 24 hours, giving you a details how the reading is going to take place. Yeah, Simone, that kind of a science is always about learning. I mean, you can never say that you know everything, right? Right, so uh, we have our winner here, uh, Julian Nesser. Um, is it in my best interest to pursue the guy I am wanting? So let's have a look. second guys all right so I do believe that the battery of this camera is gonna uh, is going to endure because <laughs> uh, it actually drains more than it charges while I'm doing live stream with it all right so Julian the first one is going to be the death moving next we do have the seven of ones. Oh my god, no, that's the six of ones. I'm sorry. Uh, then we do have the four of ones, and then we do have the ten of pentacles. So, Julian, you are only gonna have that person when that person truly loses you. So, it kind of like that person needs to see that you are no longer available for them and then they will start chasing you instead the other way around and that is how you get him okay instead of because right now with the six of wands into the second position of that spread 
I just there is uh, there is no milestones. There are no progress. Okay, it's just you are trying way too much. That's uh, that's the whole thing. And he likes it. Okay, it's just he he toys around with you. That's uh, that's the whole point. So you need to uh, you need to pretty much uh, sever ties here or kind of like place an ultimatum or whatever. It's pretty clear with the death card. Okay, so the game needs to change dramatically. Instead of you being um, the uh, the one who pursues, you have to be the one who is to be pursued. Pursued, and uh, it's gonna be for a long ride, though. I mean, even if you do sever right now, you may not hear from that guy for months because uh, what the cards here are showing it is that he may come back and beg you for I uh, to give him a chance around the start of May next year, from now up until the start of May next year, so that is pretty much the reading. So no, it's not in your best interest to pursue the guy that you want, okay? He, he, he has to pursue you, and that is how you turn it all around. That's, you pretty much show him that you are no longer an option available best way how you can do that is if you start relationship with somebody else that, that is just something that the uh, universe universe taught me of I just want to make a comment to that question because uh, uh, when people usually come with, with those kind of questions uh, they think that they are prepared to hear the answer but they're not because what if um, you are on the verge of breaking what if I told you that after a couple of months serious issue is going to reappear like for example that you're gonna discover that he is lying to you for something big, okay? Um, are you gonna believe me? Th that's the question. Because right now you sound convinced that uh, pretty much um, you are gonna keep on going together for the rest of your life. It is just your fear of being left alone is speaking and demanding that question that is not going to believe in regardless well it's going to believe and if i tell you yes you are going to keep on spending your life together but if i tell you no you probably are not going to believe me so there is no point answering it and it's just only going to upset you that that's my point right so a couple of minutes guys and uh, we're going to move to the last four star signs. Christina advertising and other products are uh, not seen with a good eye here, um, so you have been warned. I mean, you can. You can pretty much PM uh, the person you want to say it to, okay? That would be best. One that you can purchase a private reading, go into my website. Uh, it's, uh, it's listed in the post. I'm going to type it to you right now. And once you do it within 24 hours, I'm going to come back to you. I'm going to give you uh, details how your reading is going to take place. place.
Yeah, I, uh, I understand. I understand, Christina. That's why uh, I'm just giving you a warning. Otherwise, I'm pretty unyielding about those stuff. It's, it's kind of like I see that your intentions is not, you know, to kind of promote anything. Um, otherwise, if I sense that the intention is anything else, I, you would have been banned without a warning whatsoever. Uh, she's not, Lara, she's not advertising herself. She's just trying to help a girl that tries to find an answer that I just told her that there is no point answering in it because either way is going to upset her, all right? I mean, um, you're welcome, Heather. And thank you so much. Uh, for bookmarking my page. But yeah, people who are advertising themselves, I mean, um, I caught somebody who is advertising his uh, witchcraft, her witchcraft or his witchcraft, doctor or somebody, I don't even know who that is, you know, how uh, men's uh, marriages, how binds relationships through a magic. I mean, what the hell? I mean, why are you? I'm probably that person spam that on like a thousand other pages, you know, and it spams it in the testimonials, spams it in the, in the comments. I mean, uh, imagine how, how low you have to sink in order to do that. I mean, what kind of audacity you gotta have? And what kind of dignity uh, and on top of that spirituality i mean that that itself speaks that you are only all in for the money nothing else matters to you you don't give a damn about the other person's relationship you don't give a damn about their emotional state you don't give a damn about them at all you are in for the money I'm happy that you are around as well, Wanda. I mean, I'm happy for everybody who is listening to that and that is keeping up with me. Um, and thank you so much, guys, because uh, before we go to the last four star sign, I want to tell you that when I started that thing, the channel and uh, the uh, the Facebook page, uh, my in my bravest, okay, in my bravest dreams, I can only imagine around 3,000 to 5,000 followers or subs and look at it now, over 36,000 subscribers in YouTube and here, uh, here are, a bit, uh, are far less because it's more easier to find the stream and to find it so people don't, don't like the page. I don't like other pages although I'm following other pages. So I know that people are following the page, although they haven't liked the page and they haven't actually clicked the follow button. Uh, button. So yeah, I mean, thank you so much. This is what I'm trying to say. Thank you so much. Uh, it's it's so nice, really, and and I. <clears throat> Keep on getting messages, you know, how can I donate? Why, why don't you have a, a Patreon or a, or a donation link or anything like that? I never build that thing with intentions to, to make my living through donations, right? For me, the donations are... I don't want to say below me because nothing is below me. We are all equal, but it is just not my anticipation. I don't think that that's fair at all. And... All that you gotta do in order to support me, you don't have to donate a thing. Just just share the stream. That that's all that you gotta do in order to support me. Nothing else. Yeah, I came far longer than uh, a far longer way that I have anticipated. That's for sure, Marion.
It is different. Well, I will say it one more time, guys. Uh, when the whole thing started with the COVID and all that thing, I made a reading on it. And according to my timing determining method, the world is more or less going to go back to normal by the mid or the end of November this year. So we do have a quite a long way to go still. So next one, that will be Pisces. Yeah, there is an espresso in the cup and it's, uh, it's a black espresso. This is how I like it. I do love my coffee to be clean, okay? A black coffee uh, or a dark coffee, depending on where you are. I do believe that Americans call it black coffee. Uh, English call it dark coffee. I, I don't know, but it is just a, a coffee, okay? No sugar, no cream, and it's just an espresso and it's delicious. I love it. And I am addicted to it. It's not an Irish coffee, this is what I meant. There is no liquor in it, there is no whiskey in it. Right, so Pisces. Now the first one is going to be the Hermit, followed by, wow, the Two of Cups. Uh, moving next, uh, we do have uh, the Death card. <laughs> Didn't we have that a couple of days ago with you? Yeah, you nailed, you, you nailed it. Um, so pretty much um, those cards could signify only a couple of things. Uh, well, one thing and then the other one could be a circumstantial one. So it's going to be a rather quick one. That is going to be a, a partnership that comes in uh, in the next month and a half with a, a huge potential to become a romantic partnership. So if you uh, feel ten tinder to um, have your life turned around for good in terms of relationship, well, you have your thing in the next uh, month and a half. That is because with the hermit, that is going to be the, 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 the love supreme, if you will, in a sense of that uh, it will be the love that makes you um, makes the light that it is at the end of the tunnel shine so bright and you're gonna find a way through it and with the death card here to the to the hermit well pretty much these two signifies that that is the thing long time waited and it is the thing that will make anything else completely unwanted so be prepared for it guys it's going to be so peaceful man I mean it's not gonna be that low of the kind of creates those butterflies in the stomach and that it swipes off your feet and so on and so forth when you see the person all that you're going to experience is peace solace structure not not structure but kind of like uh security if you will that nothing else matters i mean that anything else could go wrong it doesn't matter because you do have that thing okay and you know that it's yours and no one can take it from you. Now, the only negative thing that I can say here is that uh, for that partnership or love, people around you may not be exactly agreed with, uh, agreed with. For example, you fall in love with a guy or with a girl, it doesn't really matter. You show that person uh, or introduce that person to your family and your family disapproves it completely, okay? So that is one thing that is negative about the reading. It may happen also with your friendship circle. You introduce that guy or a girl into your friendship circle and they just don't don't get the hang of it at all. I mean, they, they can't um, kind of like uh, not contemplate, but um, find a place for the guy or for the girl you know they don't find them compatible for the social circle itself right so that was about uh, Pisces Yeah, see, Jennifer, uh, that, that's about the partnership, okay? And if that's the case, uh, you're going to stick together for a really long ride. I mean, it's going to be for a, for a really, really long run. 
So you are a, a blessed one for what it seems. Right, so next one. That will be Taurus. Well, that is not going to be a challenging Helen. I just, you know, I just is going to happen. Right, so Taurus, now the first one is going to be the King of Cups, followed by the Ten of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have the Three of Pentacles. So uh, that is going to be a short one as well, Taurus. Uh, as well, Taurus. Now with this a month and a half, you can expect an, an amazing offer to come your way. An offer that is going to allow you to become more independent. That could be an offer for a big job, okay? And that job is going to make you more independent in terms of your financial state. That could be an offer for a big love, for example, that is going to make you independent from your current uh, uh, social status. Okay. The thing is, is that uh, there is no need to deny it because uh, it's going to come about. And for what it seems, you're going to give it a second thought. Okay. You're not going to say straight away, yes, I want it. Right. Uh, but there is no need for you to deny it. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, that thing comes once or twice in a lifetime. So it is highly advisable for you to, uh, to give it a, a shot. And you may think that you are going to give it a shot, but actually the shot is given to you. What I mean is that person who is uh, giving you the offer or the helping hand, because it could appear to be a helping hand as well, uh, they have watched you for quite of a long time, uh, assessing how compatible or how productive or whatever uh, you are. Okay, and do are you worth their while? Are you the guy or the girl that they are waiting for? And they have finally decided, okay, I'm just going to give him or her a chance. And they come to you giving you the proposition for a job, for a business, for a relationship, okay? You don't think twice about it, guys. I mean, you just say yes, because um, it will be really, uh, how can I say, a mutual one. What I mean is that this one here, the King of Cups, is always going to face you with understanding, is always going to be ready to listen to you, to your plights, to your anxiety, for example, to your problems, if you will, and always will try to solve whatever problem there is in it with you. Okay, so that is a person who, um, what can I say, contributes and cooperates with you and with everything that involves, uh, that, is, that is involved into the situation in between you and him. Right. So next one, uh, we do have Libra. I missed something. Yeah, Christina, I saw that. I'm sorry about that you are being dumped today, but at the end of the day, uh, I have been thought they are a very valuable lesson. And the best way to punish the one who dumped you is to show them that there is a life without them too. So just because you have been dumped, that should not be a prerequisite for you to stop living and especially for you to stop feeling yourself happy. So immediately you have to replace that relationship with things you love to do, you love to travel, go and travel. You love to play video games, this is how I am replacing 
my uh, failures of relationships. I play video games, okay? You love to read, just read. Just do things you love to do, okay? Don't allow yourself to fall into the precipitous spiral of, uh, of darkness and madness because you don't have that surge of, of, of serotonin that was created by the love you have experienced. Right, so next one that is going to be Libra. Right, so for Libra we do have the uh, page of swords. Moving next, that is going to be um, Justice. And the last one here, we do have uh, the Seven of Pentacles. So Libra, uh, you may not feel yourself rather prepared for uh, the upcoming enterprises throughout the uh, next month and a half. I mean, it's not like you're not going to be prepared. Uh, oh my God, prepared you are not going to feel yourself prepared. So there is a, a big difference. In reality, you are prepared, but your mind kind of like plays games with you and tells you that you do still need time. The thing is that the enterprises and, and, and endeavors uh, are not going to give you any time. So uh, you're going to feel yourself like you are catching up with things, while uh, in reality, you are just keeping up with the pace, all right? You're not catching up, but you are keeping up the pace. And um, why I'm saying that? Because it is highly likely that throughout the next month and a half, you may feel yourself very stressed and under pressure that um, everything is for yesterday, that everything demands more, that everything it is uh, that you are simply not good enough, while that's not the truth. Now, very important here, is to um, have mental strength and mental awareness. What I mean is that you need to uh, lean toward your astute discernment about uh, the uh, responsibilities you gotta do and what those responsibilities are looking like and what, what the end results, once those responsibilities are tackled, what the end results are going to be are, or are supposed to be. And should you exclude your emotions and only go by your mental strength here, or in other words, your intellectual abilities, you will see that actually you are doing, you are doing a pretty good job, right? And, and uh, as a matter of fact, at that point, um, that is by a long shot here, guys, but as somebody gonna see how much you are toiling they will offer you a help and that will be quite of an unexpected source of help. Now that is strongly a career reading here, okay, so mainly it's going to involve career um, career unfoldment. So uh, while you may have the uh, quarantine times be peaceful in terms of career, now probably next month and a half it is where you're going to dive into career tasks and career endeavors to uh, pretty much, you know, catch up with what have been missed and lost in the past three months. Right, and the last one uh, is going to be Sagittarius. So the first one for Sagittarius is going to be the Six of Cups. Moving next, we do have the King of Swords. And the last one that is going to be the uh, Temperance card. So you Sagittarius are going to be a bit rebellious throughout those uh, months and a half. Now, despite of that, uh, the situation and the logic on top of that, going to dictate you to do something you know like a career endeavor or relationship endeavor 
because you ain't gonna like it, you ain't gonna like the experience from it, it's just something you hate doing, uh, you are gonna spend the time of the next month and a half doing things that you pretty much enjoy doing, okay? Now, uh, there are a few things that can actually pose a bit of a danger, um, and that mainly resides in terms of relationship, okay? Uh, and it plays out like that. Uh, you do have a suitor, and even though you know that that is not the right person for you, that you are not compatible at all, just because you like the guy or the girl, you may jump into that relationship, and that relationship obviously is going to end up in failure. Uh, similar things may play out in terms of career, uh, which uh, it is even though you know that what you do, what you are about to do, is wrong and is going to get you fired, just because you like doing it. You do it anyway and you end up being fired. So it's very important while sticking with the activities that makes you happy, those activities need to be a trifling activities and above everything else needs to be activities that affect only you and none other. It should not affect your relationship, it should not affect your job, it should not affect your friends, okay? So that cycle is a, uh, or transit, is a transit where you make yourself being happy without, um, screwing the life around of the people that are around you, right? But uh, nonetheless, if you are capable to capitalize on that time uh, you, or on that, uh, how can I say, on that transit, you are going to have a hell of a, of a pleasant time and you, at the end you're going to feel uh, very, very emotionally recharged and ready for the, um, uh, for the new challenges that are coming with the next cycle. Uh, or with the next transit when Venus goes into um, into Gemini, uh, I will tell you when. Just give me a second. Uh, at August seven, right? So that was about Pisces. Now the last pool is going to be conducted, guys. So if you do want your question answered, uh, just. Post it here uh, into the uh, into the comments of the thread, and uh, I'm going to conduct a uh, professional reading on it. Yeah, Karen. Last but not least, was Pisces. You see what I'm talking about here? The wrinkles, or the curlings? I just can't stand those curlings, man. I mean, I gotta I gotta take them take them off. Seriously, I gotta take them off. Kayla, uh, you have to wait for that live stream to know what is going to be expected for Gemini, uh, for um, for Sagittarius when Venus goes into Gemini. <sighs> oh my God, Elena! Uh, money are very personal. It's not about the liberal thing, you know. Uh, it's. It's about you and how you make your money. Yeah, it's not fair, KL. I know, I know. It's not fair. But hey, life isn't fair. Right, so, um,
Okay, so we had all about relationships pools today, and now I'm gonna make a career pool, and that will be Heather Pauline or Pauline Heather. Uh, will I exceed in my new career? So let's have a look. So we do have Knights of uh, Pentacles, which is equivalent to the King of Pentacles in the Reader Weight, followed by uh, the Six of Swords. Moving next, we do have uh, the Nine of Wands. And the last one that we do have, that is going to be the Hierophant, okay? Those uh, four. So the good news, Heather, is... Uh, Um, I, the good news is that it's uh, eventually the business, the career is going to excel. Now the thing is, is that it's going to happen uh, rather slowly. Uh, you can't. The thing is that you can't make any bold and risky maneuvers um, in order to speed it up. I mean, any risky maneuver is going to end up in a utter failure, and it may cost you the career at all. So you gotta follow pretty much the rules or whatever you have signed up. For what I mean is that you sign up for a job and you do exactly what you have signed up for and you don't ask for promotion, you do not ask for a raise, these things are going to be brought to you whenever you do deserve. And um, it will be a rather very slow year for the, uh, for the career itself. Um, at the end of the year, you are kind of going to start feeling that the things are moving, okay? But uh, more or less uh, the next, uh, up until the end of this year, it's a, a period where you will have to pretty much prove yourself that you are uh, the girl for the job or that you do have what it takes in order to push that career and uh, moving forward and to handle it itself. Uh, uh, one thing I can give you here, it is that you are very good in terms of experience. What I mean is that whenever a, an issue is brought to you, it doesn't look like that you never know what to do. Do. What I mean is that whenever something is brought to you, you always know where to touch it from, how to do it, you know, uh, or at least you do have an idea um, in regards to that. And this makes a serious impression to your supervisor, bosses, clients, and etc. etc. But uh, the thing is that, uh, and that is very important here for you, that is that um, uh, one thing it is to accomplish something completely different, it is to sustain it, and you are to be judged in regards of how good you are of sustaining things, okay? Accomplishments, your supervisor and your boss or your clients are not going to be impressed by, but you sustaining those accomplishments, well, this is what is gonna make the impression you need in order to excel into your career. So that was, uh, that was the answer to your question. Hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, and you liked it? Yeah, all signs are done. Uh, are done. <clears throat> and uh, thank you so much, uh, guys, for watching. Uh, as usual, it was an honor for me to be your host tonight. I do apologize about the quality. Uh, again, uh, like I told you, something happened with the software of my uh, of my main um, streaming um, streaming technology. So the thing doesn't want to uh, stick to stay focused. Uh, on the screen and just you know it's uh, it's defocusing and focusing again so it's uh, something that I'm waiting a, a hot fix of it's, it makes things really difficult for me um, um, again thank you so much for watching uh, if you do want a personal reading you can always go to my website which is listed here into the post and uh, from there you're gonna see on the very front page a full list of my services as well their pricing and as soon as you place your purchase within 24 hours, I'm going to come back to you, giving you details how the reading is going to take place that you have purchased. And as well, if you enjoy the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, uh, there are tarot classes for that uh, that are available at my website. Now, the beginner's tarot class is available currently only in recorded version. Uh, for your money, which are $150, you get a 12 hours of content in a detailed explanation of the major arcana. 
um, and as well at the last lecture also a examples and how to approach a reading uh, reading only with the major arcana only in a dedicated spread and uh, the explanations of the cards are regarding career regarding relationship uh, in a negative and a positive way as well so hopefully uh, I have structured in such a way that when someone comes to you for a reading whatever the question is should it fall in the capabilities of tarot you always be able to answer it with just to answer it with just a one card draw if you will so at the end of the class you are going to be set to do your own uh, personal readings and uh, hopefully your own private readings as well even only with the major arcana still um, those methods were pretty much uh, were primarily used what i mean is that that was the first these was the these were the first methods used with uh, taro and on top of that you also get a one hour personal coaching with me whenever you feel the necessity that you should burn uh, that uh, that hour so yeah that being said guys um thank you so much for watching and we're going to see each other probably in sunday into the q a stream and until then Bye. Now let me just uh, close that stream. It will be a bit awkward.